Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you my premium method for installing a tire swing on the oak tree behind our cabin in the woods here. Tire swings are pretty simple to install in concept, but I'm gonna share with you a few tips and tricks here that will make your tire swing installation last longer, look better, and harm the tree less than typical tire swings. So let's get started. The first step is to safely set up a ladder against the tree you're going to be using that's tall enough to reach the branch you'll be hanging the swing from. Next I'm going to climb on up this ladder here to the branch that I'll be using with my little pruning saw and trim off the twigs and smaller branches coming off the main branch that are gonna get in the way of the tire swing. Next, we're gonna drill three evenly spaced holes in the upper portion of the side wall of the tire here. Next, we're going to take these six inch long, half inch diameter eye bolts with a pair of nuts and a pair of washers for each of the three eye bolts. And we're going to stick them into these holes with a nut and a washer on the top side. Just poke that through there. And then on each eye bolt, we're going to thread a washer and a nut onto the inside here. We'll tighten these up later with wrenches, but for now, we'll just do it finger tight. Now we're gonna go back up the ladder and install this towing strap around the branch rather than putting the chain directly over the branch where the swinging action would cause the chain to abrade the bark and hurt the tree over time. At the top of the ladder now, just pick a good spot a few feet away from the trunk and Next, we'll take our large collapsible chain link, thread that all the way open, and carefully hook it through both sides, both loops on each end of the, uh, the towing strap here. This is a little tricky one-handed, but just take your time. You don't want to fall off the ladder and die. It kind of puts a bit of a damper on things. There we go, just, just pull that through, and there, both ends are kind of threaded in there. And before you close that up, you want to put the smaller collapsible chain link inside there too. There, we'll tuck that through, and now i got to put the phone down to thread these two closed, but you get the idea. There we go, as you can see, I've got the towing strap looped over itself over the branch. And then I've got both the looped ends of the strap threaded into a large openable chain link. And that chain link is closed. And then I've got a smaller openable chain link inside the larger one. And that smaller openable chain link is still open. And you'll see why in a minute. Next, we're going to install this five foot length of chain hanging and hooked into the lower openable chain link up there on the branch. That's just because this branch is exceptionally high off the ground and I wanna make sure we get our tire swing low enough. Depending on 
the position of your branch, you may not need the extra piece of chain. So we'll just reach over there with our chain to the openable chain link. Thread this in here once again. A little bit tricky one-handed, but there we go. And then thread the smaller openable chain link fully closed over this short length of chain. And there we go. Next, you wanna take one end of each of your three main lengths of chain that'll connect to the three eye bolts on the tire swing. And you wanna thread that end link of each of the three chains over another medium sized openable link like this one. And in this case, this size is just about perfect. It's just a little tight getting the link, chain links over it, but I did get it over. So you have all three lengths of chain looped over that openable link. Now we're gonna take these three lengths of chain and the openable link up the ladder and hook this openable link to the single chain that's currently connected to the towing strap hanging from the branch. Hopefully I won't regret this too much. There we go, up the ladder. Just got that single chain looped in with the other three on the openable link. Just gotta thread this closed and then we can actually attach the tire swing to the chains. As a final step, use an adjustable wrench to tighten up all of the openable chain links. Make sure none of those will loosen and open up over time. Dad, is this house been finished? Mm-hmm. Yay! Now I have two swings. Uh, uh, are you glad that you're building these outdoor play things? I'm very glad. I love my tire swing. I love it. Good. Why does this thing go crazy? Thanks very much for watching this video on how to install a tire swing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the Cabin in the Woods channel for lots more great videos like this one.